right, I'm Chris Bean with Simi Hunt. I'm here with Jim from uh, Skullbound TV. Jim, you're the uh, cameraman, producer, you do it all. Absolutely, that's right, Chris. I do everything. I uh, executive produce the show, you know, but I've also built a character into our show, Skullbound TV, with Jenna Waller as cameraman Jimmy. So all the time I'm always behind the camera, um, and, but you know, at times I do um, come in front of the camera. So. Yeah, I see uh, over the past year or so, you're getting a little more air time, and you took a monster bear this year. Yeah, you know what, I've been hunting Montana for 30 years, and it was it was super cool to take all those years, and I've killed some nice bears, some bears that are around six foot mark, but I've never really killed one of those bears that's just a jostle. You know, you're, we call it a jaw dropper. When you see that bear, you know that bear is just completely bigger than anything you've ever laid eyes on. But at the time when we spotted it, that wasn't the case. We knew it was a bear. He was at the bottom of a canyon. Um, we used Vortex, you know, Razor HD binos, and I was blasting them up, and and I still couldn't quite tell. So I broke out their little spotter, left by 33, and Jan and I were looking at that bear, and um, it was bedded in this little dip, and it was like two days from the end of the season. So in Montana, it closes on uh, June 15th now to help with the predator population. Bears take a significant population of elk calves. And, you know, the yeah. deer population and hammer the ungulates. So we cruised, you know, we said, well, we got to get closer. We, we're going for broke. Well, were you on a bear hunt or was oh, this yeah. a oh. happenstance? No, we were on a bear hunt. We actually went out on a whim and we took a smaller camera and we thought, you know, just in case, let's go down and look and see what's going on. And uh, and we went out hunting and we, we saw that bear. And um, long story short is we, we, we went down, moved down the ridge got down it was about a half a mile three quarters of a mile off the road uh, you know we we drive logging roads we call them we got down to the bottom and Jana spots him she goes he's right there and so we glassed over there and we still couldn't tell how big a bear that was Chris and we're looking at him and for, we sat on that bear for 45 minutes to an hour the whole time and we still couldn't tell and then finally Jana's like he's getting up he's getting up and we had the camera running and the bear sat up, and I am telling you, if you've ever been to the circus and you've seen what a circus bear looks like, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He gets up, and he's looking at me, and I'm like, where is the circus? You know, Jenna's like, you know, go ahead and shoot him. And I made a really good shot with a 1,000 feet trophy-grade rifle, 180 grain Acubon, and it was, it was lights out. Now, what did he dress at? What did he weigh Well, out? you know, we didn't have a scale or anything, but I can tell you, um, in all the years I've hunted bears, this was the biggest bear I've ever, ever had a chance of even walking up on. And I would say definitely, you know, whole weight, a, a solid 400 pound plus spring bear. Wow, that's a good bear. So you add 125 pounds of that in the fall, you're looking at a 525 pound fall bear. So that, that's a big boy. Now you um, get a full body mount? You do it Absolutely. Yeah, he's a brown faced black bear. Oh, and wow. so he, I would say he's, you know, he stretched out seven feet from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. That's without stretching. So, I mean, he's a monster. And, you know, when you kill a bear of that that size, it's, it's, a, it's a trophy of a lifetime Absolutely. that most hunters will never even see, let alone harvest. And I feel blessed and, and you know, that I was able to do that. So to honor that bear's life, I'm going to do a life-size mount wow. with that Andy. bear to always look at him and say, I remember that day for the rest of my life. Yeah. And, you know, future your kids will look back and say Absolutely. that's what my dad did that's right awesome. that's <laughs> well beautiful. it was a fun hunt and um, i'm hoping to get another big one this year for janet so. great well we're looking forward to seeing more of you in front of the camera sure. seeing more new episodes Absolutely. and uh thanks for taking the time thanks for having me on cbhunt.com i appreciate right. it appreciate it thank you you bet